Good evening, everyone. Sorry for the bit of a delay. Oh. <laughs> um, hi, Laurie. Hi, Tracy. Um, Blame Biscuit. He needed to go to the lavatory. <laughs> so I'm just going to put the link in for Laurie and um, Tracy. As I always say, this is only for Laurie and uh, Tracy's uh, benefit. Yeah. But, um, so, yeah, blame, blame, blame Mert Biscuit because he won't need him to go. Now, I've already crushed my biscuits because my um, food processor makes a hell of a lot of noise. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do that beforehand. So, um, uh, <laughs> funny you should say that, Amjad, because that's all Callum and Chris was singing. It says, I am good, Chris, bro, watch the footy, it's coming home. <laughs> well, Chris is actually, Chris is actually watching the other hey. match. Hi, Laurie, how are you? Good, how are you? Did uh, Laurie, did you know that football's coming home? <laughs> <laughs> what do you ask me? Did I get what? It, 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 it's, it's only all, all it is, Laurie, is England's played again. Did you know that? They've won what Germany. You first... Football, not soccer. Yeah, football, <laughs> not soccer. And it's first time they've beat Germany since 1966. Yikes. <laughs> so, yeah, so, uh, you know. You, to say they're in a good mood, Chris is actually watching Sweden versus Ukraine because the winner of that football match, they will face England on yes, Saturday. So there won't be any more on Saturday, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. yeah, so today, today we've got a really simple uh, recipe. Laurie's going to get to Chris and a new hob. <laughs> Hi, Lee. Is it Lee? Anfield Road layout. Hi, Lee, lad. Is it Lee? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 sorry, I, my mind's all over the place at the moment. get without water. <laughs> oh, you've got it, yeah. Sorry, I, it, I, it, um, I'm at sixes and sevens. Yeah. Hi, Imran. Say hello to Imran. That's Amjad's brother. Hello, Mr. IP. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> so, yeah, relatively simple. Um, five ingredients. Five. <laughs> I was just saying, Laurie, I've already crushed my... Um, Because, for the simple fact, my food processor is very, very loud. So, yeah, I don't have one, so I used a rolling pin to crush mine. Just put them in a baggie and crush them. Yeah, mine are crushed and all. Hiya, Jackie. <laughs> How are you? Hola. Hi, Jackie. Pat, Jack is a fellow droner of Chris's, and she lives in Spain. So, yeah, it's a long time since she's joined us. So, yeah. It's so simple, Jackie. Even you would be able to uh, to make it. So, <laughs> you know, saying. So, I'd love uh, to try to get my hubby to make it. He'd do it all yeah. wrong. It, it, you <laughs> see, it says on it says on the recipe, Scotch fingers. Now, <coughs> Laurie, would Laurie and me did have this conversation, and I said, I'm just going to use, um. Yeah, you tell me. Yeah, sure. I, I I keep having brain fog. Yeah, shortbread, <laughs> and this is actually Scott shortbread, and it comes in fingers. So I says, well, it's Scottish. It comes in fingers. So well, actually, when you think about it, shortbread is Scotch fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's in another thing that. we did not have here that I could find, Jeanette. So I'm using Lorna Dunes, which is also a shortbread. But, um, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> I think it, 
I think it's more or less same, uh, Laurie, if I'm honest with you, because <laughs> Dutch fingers, it's shortbread Scottish and it comes in like a finger form, doesn't it? Yeah. See, when I, I bought my shortbread, that could... So, so I, I don't know whether it's the euphemism from the USA or what, but yeah, I, I did look on Amazon and basically it's um, it, it, it's same thing, shortbread. Yeah. So yeah. I just use whatever I can find that is basically the same thing as what you're using. It just yeah. has a different yeah. name, that's all. I know, I know me and Laurie had the conversation about the desiccated coconut, and I did yeah. look it up, and it does say that in the US, desiccated coconut is shredded coconut. Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry. I mean, that, that, that's mine, Laurie. That's, okay. So it's, yeah. it's more or less the same thing. Yeah, it is. But, you know, that, that's it, you know what I mean? And it, you know, I, I did, Chris did get me pink and white marshmallows. And I says, if, if you can't get pink, hey. I had to get all colors. Because but that's it what does they say, have. you know, don't matter the color of the, of the right. um, yeah. Steve's in everyone. He's, he's, he Hi, says Steve. he gets to go home Friday. Hi, Steve. Woohoo. Um, Tracy, Hello? so that's what that's why it's been missing in action. And I sort of, you know, I've been trying to find out. Oh, if it, Trav's blood, is that all? Uh, <laughs> 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 you only cut your finger and you're at death's door. <laughs> so, yeah, so this, this is my pan that I've um. That I've lined. I didn't oh, want. Yeah. I, I, I started to. I was scratching my head and I think thought, now nah, should I should I use a tray bait? And I thought it might not be deep enough. So I've I, I bought these. These have actually got lids with them. Yeah. So if I was to say, um, oh well, they're not going to get yeah. eaten. I could just put a lid on it and probe straight to the freezer. Yeah. But, I mean, um, but yeah, you know, I mean, the, the, these these are good value for money because you get the cardboard lids with them. You know, like let's say, for instance, if I were to go away overnight and I'd got to make a, a meal in advance for Chris and Callum, you could do that, put a lid on it, and put it in the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, did you put oven on? Anyway, well, Chris I'm using my trusty old glass pan that takes forever for anything to cool in it, but I'll pull it out with the <laughs> with the paper. <laughs> but it said on the recipe to use a um, slice pan, and I'm like, oh no, I'm not going and buying one of those. I'm using my glass pan, and that's it. I had a slice well, pan. Well, this is it. I mean, this is not a slice pan, so right. I mean, it's it's. I've got years and i've also got tray baits but i didn't yeah. think a tray baked tin would be deep enough yeah i'm like no i'm you not using I mean? this so I thought, well you know i mean i look at it this way laurie so long as it's in a pan of some sort you know either way it don't really matter right yeah same as chris says at least he's in land at living <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I've processed the biscuits. So, without further ado, I don't know why I've got two bowls, but I'm just going to. Um, it's tickled pink. Oh. For some reason, it's not recognizing this other camera. Steve is tickled pink. How cute. <laughs> Well, it come on and then went off. No, no, you're still there. You're moving a little. So I got an external camera and I can't seem to get it to swap over. You know, like I normally do. So. Uh, the door open. What do you mean, old one? 
it says USB is not recognized, it could have malfunctioned. Hmm. So, but you know, I mean, if this art external one don't work, then you know, ah, aha, but it's still not coming up properly. Anyway, I'm, I'm not fan about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I should just tip, tip me. Might not be able to see the. Uh... Oh, now it's coming on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's just a slight delay. It's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to switch it over now. Um. Oh. <laughs> Come on, you. Yeah, yeah, we have lift off. Do we have to have butter melted in it? Yeah, I'm going to come to that in a minute. I'm just going to put do what you've done and put my biscuits in me in my bowl first. So I'm just going to move that over there. Um, me and Laurie's going to use his, uh, his, his hot plates now. Mm. Yeah, how about that? Thanks, Jeanette. I need some. <laughs> uh, a saucepan. A saucepan. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I ordered? I ordered one of those um, sponge cake uh, cupcake tins, and it came Ooh. today. It came today. Wow. So I can you can't get me with that one again. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, it says, uh, we haven't even started yet, Jackie. She says, uh, taste test. <laughs> and Steve says he don't have to get shaved anymore. But, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, first of all, you need... Um, 125 grams of unsalted butter, and that goes in your pan. Mm. Now, this I, I weighed my stuff out this afternoon, so it, it, it should be soft enough. Um, turn it on a minute. It says three quarters of a cup of the marshmallows. Now, I couldn't find my three quarter cup. Oops, so, I okay, so I've got half a cup and a quarter of a cup. So, that makes three quarters. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm just going to just gonna put this. is my first cup. time using this. I hope it works. <laughs> uh, so that's I'm not even sure what medium it is. Cut it, and, Pardon? You say you're putting the marshmallows in with the butter? You, but, you butter, your marshmallows, and oh. um, uh, a third of, of water. But it's got to be warm water, so that's... All right, I've got some spare marshmallows, so I'm just going to top that up for a minute. So Chris has, has weighed, uh, measured this out, and it says you put your butter, three quarters of a cup of marshmallows in a small saucepan, add three, a quarter of a cup of hot water, and stir over a medium heat. So basically that's water gone in. So, um, so yeah, it, it, it just says, it says on a medium heat till it's all melted and smooth. Basically, you add this tea biscuit mixture. So, um, so, yeah, it's got to be like, obviously, your marshmallows has got to be... Uh, melted and your butter's got to be melted 
Stop that <laughs> clearing your art. Oh dear. You were the one that wanted to get a dog. I oh, know. Uh, Not realizing the um, human being going to be walking the so yeah, it, it, this has just got to go on a medium me until um now Tracy's gotta get herself a hot plate. Where'd you go, Jeanette? Uh oh, we lost her, Tracy. I'm here. I'm at the cooker. We lost Jeanette again. Oh, I should have come back. That's cool. I'm, <laughs> I'm here though, Lori. I'm just opening my cooker. Okay. Yeah, she comes, I think. Nope, she didn't make it. She'll be back. But we'll wait for she's yeah. trying. I am back. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, just, I just went out and come back in again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um what do you think to you of uh Laurie? Of the the um hot plate, you mean? Hot plate, I call it all bad, you know. Yeah, we call them hot plates. I like it. It's working fine. Yeah. Well, this is a, this is what I'm saying. For me, this this um, table is too long for the kitchen, mm -hmm. so we had to come up with another solution on sort of circumstances like this. Yeah. Um, so. I actually, I've actually got one that's similar size to yours, but when you cook with it, it's very hot afterwards. Yeah. So whereas yeah. this one, it's like two handles on either side, and it don't get hot at all. Oh yeah, mine doesn't have handles, but it's not feeling hot, really too hot. I could handle it, but I have it on a cutting board. So that way, I don't oh. have to touch it. I can pick up the cutting board, and that way. There's no chance yeah, of me burning yeah. myself. But you see, my my other one is similar to yours, except where's yours? Yours is black, mine is white. Yeah. But I think it's it's very hot afterwards. Ooh, um, mine's to boil. No boil. Uh, mine just needs a bit longer because I can still see blobs of um still yeah, see I blobs of yeah, mine too. I still got marshmallows, but I don't want to let it boil. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's, don't think it's supposed it to boil. Right. Yeah. I think Biscuit's just coming into his element because he's just started barking. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> now you're in for it. Yeah. Well, Callum had gone outside onto, onto like a patio that we've got. And he actually knocked on Winder, and that's when he barked. Yeah. That was the first time. Um, oh, 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 that was it. <laughs> so I'm just going to turn mine yeah. off. So, because mine's the same, uh, Laurie, mine's starting to. Uh, yeah, mine's all set to go. Well, she's actually oh, doing yeah. it on her cooker. So I've got uh, the, you know. Yeah. Hiya, Jamie. <laughs> but uh, but yeah we've got uh we've now got three people on the job now uh jamie <laughs> aren't i lucky mine's all set yeah it's all right i can't open front i just have to put it to one side Oh yeah, so now uh, we're transferring back to the uh, to the bowl with the biscuits in, and that actually goes in 
to the bowl with the biscuits in. Really? <laughs> What's that? And that is water, marshmallows, and butter. Simple as that. Oh, it's not had what's done yet. Oh, what is that? The marshmallow. You said yours wasn't done. No, um, we're talking about dogs. Oh. <laughs> Kate says, Worcester hasn't been done. And I says, When we adopted a uh, biscuit, it's already been done. <laughs> yeah, well, Tracy hasn't got the. Uh, yeah, she ain't got the uh, luxury of, of having a hob. Pardon? Did you put your coconut in? Yes. Oh yeah. Coconut went in. About that, in uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Boy, that uh, butter makes it really greasy. I forgot all about my coconut. It, it, I tell you, my mind's all at place at the moment. A good job you said, Tracy, because I forgot. It was still here up table, and then I just thought when we <laughs> going in. <laughs> well, what were it that you forgot that night? And I said, oh, just because she'd already put a, a mixture in a pan. And uh, Tracy forgot some of says, Just chuck it in, get it a quick swirl round. Oh, you know. yeah, yeah. We were making you that strawberry thing, weren't we? That strawberry thing, the almonds. So, I think I might have uh, too, uh, too much butter in mine. It is a bit sticky, Laurie, but I think yeah. um, that will... Um, plus it's got to bake in oven, hasn't it? Okay, that's how it's supposed to be. It seems to me like I got too much butter in it, though. <laughs> yeah. But, but, you know, it, it does seem a little bit st on the sticky side, but I think that's how it's supposed to be. So, yeah, so... Um, Uh, it says press firmly over the base of the pan, but I'm I'm using a spoon, so uh, you know different people use different things. Some people use glasses, you know. It's it's whatever you feel comfortable using. <coughs> so yeah, this is basically just the base of your slice. Um, you know, some people, you know, I've seen a lot of people, they, you know, they use, I find it's a lot easier using the, the bottom of a spoon. You know, I've, I've had people say, oh, I find it a lot easier using bottom of a glass and, you know, mm. it's it's whatever you, you know, whatever's easiest for you at the end of the day. Um, you know. So, uh, the ne next thing to do is this goes in the oven for between eight and ten minutes, it says until golden. And then you've got to let it cool down for a little while um, before you put your jam and your marshmallows on it. And that's it. That's as simple as it is. So uh, really very simple. I've got a recipe, girls. 
um for next week oh don't scare and me it's a cooking recipe <laughs> it's a cookie recipe and it's called okay. hot chocolate cookies mm. so Sounds basically good. it's just, it's just chocolate cookies and you buy full-size marshmallows using marshmallows again cut them in half put it on top and that's it Dobbs a good one very very simple by the looks of it but uh, the only the only tip i've got for anybody that are, are having for when when you have to do this is always have a cup of hot water handy and if it gets a bit too sticky and it's sticking to your spoon or whatever it is that you're using just dip your spoon in a uh, in slightly in hot water it makes it a lot easier so i think that's about it this now goes in a uh, 180 degrees oven it says for about eight to ten minutes or until light and golden so basically once it's cooked it uh, you've got to let it cool down before we go any further but um baby yeah are you ready yeah <laughs> i've got my phone somewhere before i've took all that time to smooth it out <laughs> Hang on a minute. I'm going to put mine on for 10 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah, so that, um, that now goes in the oven for 10 minutes. Um, that was at 350, you said, right? Yeah, well, it says uh, 180 degrees centigrade. It's roughly, uh, yeah, what we normally do. So I've just unplugged that. It's uh hi is Zach, how are you? Oh, Zach. It's a Zach attack. So I'm just um I'm just gonna switch the cameras over. I might want another metal spoon actually. Right, I'm trying to um trying to get this to switch over again. Hey, silly bakers. <laughs> Come on, today might be nice. Yeah, there we go. We're back. And she's back. <laughs> she's back in the room. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that's that's in the oven now. Pretty simple. Um, once it's out the oven, you have to let it cool down for 15 minutes. Spread your jam on, put your marshmallows on, put it back in oven. There you go, simple as that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm just um, sorting this end of kitchen out. Okay, okay. So, yeah, then um, we're going to show you recipes. We have left them over there. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> this is not great about my auntie. She's feeling much better than last week. Good, good. <laughs> Karate says, stop bugging the dogs, yeah. Yeah, that's why I said, I'm well, what do you want? <laughs> Zach's made his foot go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's oh, still awake. At least oh, Zach's dear, still awake. I do, that. <laughs> I do that every single night. You know, depends which side I lay, and that you know. So I have to put my drink over. over. Hello, Johnny. Five alive. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny says that's my chopping board. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. 
Yeah, it's just so when I uh, when I put jam on. Well, yeah, I need to get spoon anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, one of them long spoons. Uh, no, we're just a tablespoon will do. Oh, to me, <laughs> but yeah, I just says to Chris when he went and got mine, I just says any any marshmallows will do. Just you know, just get mi mini ones. Like. It don't matter whether they're white, whether they it, it, it's you know, it don't make any difference to taste to the the slice. Um, you know, <laughs> but when Chris came back, he did say. Well, them pink and white ones are the only ones that they got in our Asda. So, uh, so yeah, so, but it, it, you know, it, it, it's, it does say use plain white uh, marshmallows instead of pink and, you know, so it doesn't make any difference to the taste of it. So, uh, And I haven't used raspberry jam, as it says on the recipe. I've used strawberry jam. But it does say that you can use apricot jam or whatever jam you've got to hand, basically. I actually saw a recipe on YouTube. It's soft Japanese fruit cake. It's called a Castella cake. Uh, it's more springy. So, uh, uh, yeah, I think... It, isn't it flowerless, uh, I'm dad? I, I've heard of it. Um, yeah, I don't know whether it don't use flour or it don't use eggs, one or two, I can't remember, but I have heard of it. Uh, um, so yeah, but I have, I have printed off quite a few recipes, I've, I've printed off the Hot chocolate, um, hot chocolate cookies. I did, I did print one off, and it's called Chai Spice Slice. If I, <laughs> it's Chai Spice. Now you can buy got flour in the cake batter, but you melt milk and butter on the. Oh yeah. I knew, I knew there was something different about it. I'm just, right, anyway, going back to this. It's called a chai spice slice. And basically, it's got the chai. You can buy chai spice, but you can also make it. have everything in like, for cardamom and cloves. Now, it's basically a very spicy cake, if that makes sense. And I, I, look, I like the look of it, and I think it's um, mm -hmm. like a cream cheese frosting as well. Um, what else have I? What else have I? Uh, uh, Toblerone cookies. That's another one. Not yet. That one, <laughs> Toblerone cookies. <laughs> <laughs> right, if you're wondering, Laura, Toblerone is Chris's favourite candy, chocolate, whatever you want to call it. Oh, boy. Now, there's another one, Berry Crumble Bars. But it's like, it's got blueberries, blackberries, strawberries and raspberries, I think. Um. So, yeah, that's that. And it's got like a... Um, a crumble topping, so uh, that's that mm. one. Chai spice cookie bars, that's the one. Um, another one is called pad puffs, and basically, the two sponge sandwiched together with cream. Uh -huh. yeah. well, like another one makes the cream. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it does say makes 36 when I looked on the recipe, but I'm wondering wow. if cost. But if you think about it, if it makes 36 cookies and you've got sandwiched two together, 
Yeah. So, so it, you it have, yeah. yeah. Cause that's three dozen. So. <laughs> it wraps the Friday, um, uh, Friday's live stream. And then another one, it's a chocolate chip cookie cake. Ah. So basically a, a chocolate chip cookie cake and you know you, you you ice it and do whatever Ooh, yeah, that sounds like. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds interesting <laughs> but yeah i've been i've been quite busy um printing some recipes off when I print them off, I don't always use them. You know, there's some always something a bit better catches my eye. You know what I mean? But Chris does want me to make the Toblerone cookies. Yeah, that's number one. So, uh, <laughs> so, so yeah. So that's the sort of a work in progress. We might we we'll probably make the hot chocolate cookies next week and all you do is similar to these but they're not the mini uh, marshmallows they're the old ones chunky ones and you just cut them in half and um put them on top so it melts on top of the cookie <laughs> i still got to film that laughing from fridays uh, yeah you know mm -hmm. even though it were a run about um um sleep apnea because i have a, a CPAP machine and we, you know there were one or two it actually in the chat that says oh they all symptoms that i've you know that i've got uh you know and it was quite a serious chat but we did have a laugh come in number five your time is up <laughs> 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 but it does say you've got to let it cool down for, for 15 minutes because obviously if you put your jam straight on top of it it's going to melt your jam in it yeah kind of like we had the issue with the frosting last week oh know? yeah like, I, what <laughs> I was going to do Lori, I was going to make another batch of frosting on the uh Wednesday, yeah, you know, on the Wednesday morning. Uh, that don't look brown to me. It says uh, until light golden. Light golden. Yeah. Put it on here then. I mean, this this match should be all right. You sure. Yeah. Can I turn it over off now then. No. No. You're done. It, it looks like it. I'll just, just show you. Can you see? It says uh, eight to ten minutes until light golden. Well, that is light yeah. and golden, isn't it? Okay. It still it's looks still... a bit watery, baby. Yeah, it doesn't really it's... look like it's quite ready. Yeah. Me... I'd, I'd say about another two or three minutes because yeah, it, it looks like on the on the outside but it still looks a bit sticky on on in the middle yeah if that makes sense yeah put mine a bit longer and all so he hadn't turned oven off because we've got to put it back once we've put marshmallows and everything on it so um oh. What you forgot now? Oh, oven gloves. <laughs> I forget if it's ended. Uh -huh. I'm still looking for Japanese sponge cake recipe. I haven't found a perfect one. I am going to try BBC Good Food. Or, I mean, all I do, Amjad, is if I'm looking for a specific recipe, I just type it into Google and it comes up with several, you know, there's probably tons of recipes out there. Um, right. What like you say, about, about three minutes. Yeah. 
Did you put yours back in? Yeah, I could just put it back in, Laurie. Yeah, I, I don't think mine are even close. Right, like Japanese. <sighs> Sponge coat. You see, you see this um, fluffy, jiggly Japanese cheesecake. That's tasty. Sponge cake Japanese style. Hard to cook recipes. Taste of Asian food. Japanese sponge cake. You see this, the, the, the recipe says quarter of a teaspoon of salt, one egg, five egg yolks, one, five egg whites, 80 grams of flour, we don't say whether it's spun, uh, self raising or plain, 80 grams of sugar and 80 milliliters of milk and 50 milliliters of sunflower oil. Hmm. I mean, I can send it to you, Amjad, you know, I'm, I, I, I don't mind. Um, yes, it uh, you think we've got a Japanese strawberry sponge cake here. <laughs> what? Honey castella. That's more... Um, <laughs> <laughs> what uh, Amjad were looking at. So there's only four ingredients, uh, Amjad, on this one. Right, uh, I'm, I'm going to send you that one, uh, Amjad. Uh, <laughs> I mean, t take a look, Amjad. Uh, but is it, this is a um, that is basically a Japanese recipe. So you know, uh, if that's not suitable, then. Um, you know, I can always uh, I can always look up another one for you. It says it uses only four ingredients: eggs, sugar, flour, and honey. That looks more like it. <laughs> But I can do some more research afterwards. Uh, I'm glad if you want and see if there's any more, any other suitable ones. But all I did was um, um, you know, all I did was type in Google Japanese uh, pay it. Uh, Japanese one cake, that's uh, basically all I did. And um, that's what it come up with. So, um, I I've got to say that, yeah. but the thing is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm with Chris on that one. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, all, I, I have all, tr all, all, all trouble getting out of bed in the morning. I don't know about doing sit-ups. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Jeanette. What? Just, uh, 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 just,
I'm oh, just right. going to put my timer on and let it, because it says, man sort of baked around edges, but it still seems a little moist in the, in the centre. But yeah. I think that's one of the reasons why you had to let it cool down. Because like brown is, it probably firms up. Um, uh, yeah. Mine is done. Yeah, mine's done right, I'm, well. just, I'm just going to put my timer on for 15 minutes. So we know that we've left it a full 15 minutes. Yeah. I'll go with your timer. <laughs> Here we go. All done. Yeah. Yeah, it, mine still seems a little bit um, not jiggly, but a bit moist. In, 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 to uh, brown in but it looks a little bit around the edges, so I figure that's enough. The same as I've just said to Tracy, we like brownies. When you think about it, it's like a a cheesecake base, but you know you've got to let it cool down i've just set the timer for 15 minutes so we know exactly that it's been cooling for 15 minutes so yeah, yeah so that you know still a bit of a shine on it but if you can see round edges it looks like it's you know and, and that cooling down period i think is basically um yeah i've got to put it how it sets, if that makes sense. And plus, you've got to put your jam on here, and then put your, um, you know, your marshmallow mm -hmm. on top. So yeah. um, I think basically, so if I've gone dark, it's it's me. Uh, I'm back. <laughs> mm. Ooh, Laura's looks nice. Our colour is so different with our cameras, Jeanette. Well, this is it, you see. Yeah, yeah. And it's like Tracy's as well. Tracy's yeah. always look lighter than anybody's because yeah. she's got a fluorescent tube in her kitchen. So I think uh, the, wow. the lighting has a lot to do with it. I've only, All I've got is like a, a light fitting with a bulb. Not right above me, but, you know, so I think basically that's why it, you know, I think it, I think it's done. Um, plus, you don't want it overcooked sure, as well. Well, that looks nice. That's done. Yeah. Yeah, hers is a different color, too. That's so strange how all the cameras are different. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing that's is... Funny. With it being it's like old. a biscuit base, you don't want it too crumbly when you're slicing it. Otherwise, they're just going to crumble to bits, aren't they? Yeah. Um. So, yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it, it, I, I, I mean, Tracy's had this conversation a lot of times, and I says, well, yours always looks lighter than mine, and, you know, <laughs> mine always looks darker compared to yours. And I think a lot of it is... The lighting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have a light right over my head, so that might be it too, because I've got one right over my head. Yeah, the ceiling fan. Yeah, well, this is only sort of the the um the, the start of it, Kate. We've got to let it cool down for fifteen minutes. Spread some jam on it, and then uh, sprinkle it with marshmallows. Then it goes back in the oven, obviously to marsh uh, uh, melt the marshmallows. Hi, Hi Ruby. Ruby. Hi, Ruby. So, Hi, Ruby. so in, es in in essence, it's like um, a biscuit marshmallow jam slice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah Hi, Ruby, the only thing I don't understand is. We're supposed to let it cool before we put the jam on, but yet we're going to pop it back in the oven anyway, and the jam's going to melt anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the thing, well, the, I think that I think that's another reason why you don't want to overcook it in the first stages because you do put it back in the oven, yeah, um, for another ten to twelve minutes. So. What, 
obviously you've got to put it back in the oven once you put the marshmallows on top. So then you're cooking your base again. Does, does that make sense? Um, I don't like jam, so can you use chocolate instead? You can <laughs> use anything, uh, Trace, uh, Kate. I, I'm, Kate. Tell you, I'm, I'm going to twist. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, I would imagine you can use anything your art desires, Kate, really. Let's say yeah. chocolate, eh? <laughs> Can we use chocolate? Mm -hmm. chocolate I think I think basically what she's saying is like Nutella or something like that. I think that's sort of what she's pertaining to. Um, because yeah. it does say up recipe, you can use any jam. I mean, it does say raspberry jam, but I don't buy raspberry jam. I only buy strawberry jam. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, Put some uh, chocolate drops in. You, you know, you, you, you. But this is this is what I'm saying. I mean, one of the recipes, like the chocolate chip cake, it's basically so long as you've got the base of your cake, like your chocolate chip cake. You can decorate it or whatever, however you want. Uh, you know what we should make cake. sometime, Jeanette? Pardon? We should make a chocolate mayonnaise cake sometime. They are Ooh. delicious and very moist. It'll be the moistest cake you've ever had in your life. Chocolate mayonnaise cake. I have and heard you know, uh, recipes using mayonnaise. You don't you don't even know the mayonnaise is in it. You can't even taste yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I have actually got one in in uh, um one of my cookbooks. I'll have to have a look 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 out for recipe. It right, is the best. Um, I forgot <laughs> um yeah. I forgot now. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Kate says that sounds nice, Lori. Um, but I, 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 just, just lately, you know what? With everything, it's like I start saying something and I forget what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sort of like losing, losing track of myself. <coughs> oh, yeah, the, the, um, <coughs> the chocolate chip mint brownies last week. I weren't really a fan of them because I, I think they were a bit too sweet for myself. I didn't like them either. No. I'm so glad you said that because I didn't. I thought they were too sweet, and I don't like my brownies with frosting. I like them with Cool Whip. <laughs> uh, I don't like but, frosting. But yeah, brownies. yeah. Chris liked them. Callum liked them. But I think Chris me, likes everything, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. he likes everything. I, I, I like them. anything later, anything that's in him. But yeah, I mean, I told <laughs> Tracy this, and I said, honestly, I wasn't a big fan because they were too sweet for my liking. Yeah, um, was brownies, and then you, like, I mean, you know. Well, Aunt Jed yeah, asked yeah. me my life what I thought of them, and I told him they weren't my favorite because I just don't care for frosted brownies. And yes, they were very sweet, yeah. very sweet. Yeah. So, but I mean, the, the the thing is, Laurie. I mean, we're not like Chris. We don't, you know, anything that put in front of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. I thought. One one little piece were all right, but other than that, it, they were very sickly. Right, right. And that's what I found. But I guess, I, you know, I said to Tracy, but that's just my opinion, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you're into sweet stuff, then, yeah, you know, chocolate, you know, mint, blah, blah, blah. If you're into that kind of thing, then all well and good. But I found they were just too, they were just too sweet for my liking. Yeah. I like all kinds of. I love mint. I love chocolate, but not. I just didn't care for it on the brownies. Just didn't but care anyway. For it on yeah. <laughs> Imagine you ladies come down to London for a haircut since I am on summer break. <laughs> oh, I'm I could use one. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm desperate. I'm Jad. My, My uh, tell me we need haircuts. Come on, Amjad. We're re we're ready. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Can you imagine us all, de all descending on our jobs are? I'm, I'm first in line. I'm first in line though. My is greater than anybody else's. Uh huh. I just been putting it off. I, I don't know. I do need to get it cut though. Eventually, it's a mess. I, I mean, I, since I have the shingles, I I've got I've got colours to colour my own hair. Yeah. And I kept putting it off and putting it off because obviously I had the shingles all in my hair and everything. And now I, I kept saying to Chris, I'll have to do it this weekend. Uh, now I'll, I'll, I'll leave it and I'll do it next. You know what I mean? And that's sort of woman mantra. I'd say, oh, I'll do it next weekend. And a, a couple of weekends ago, I bit bullet and thought, you know, I'll, I'll get it colored. But it desperately needs cutting. Yeah, mine too. I got all of that behind my ears. I can't stand it in my face. Yeah. Well, mine's all <coughs> over the place. I mean, if you colour it down, uh, this is no word of a lie, Laurie. It's water down here. <laughs> it is quite long. Yeah. Um, you know, it just what I I don't want it cutting short or anything. I just want it tidying up. Because I've got like ends is all bitty and, and everything and it just needs tidying up as I say. Jessica Love wants her hair done by you, Amjad. You didn't yeah, tell me that. Didn't, you didn't, didn't you didn't demand, Amjad. So uh so yeah. Make sure that I'm first in line. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, he's doing karma uh, there as well. It looks like a trip to America, then, uh, Amjad. Where's Amjad at? I can't remember where you're at, Amjad. I know you told me, but I can't remember. He's in London. London. He lives in London. I don't think so. That's a little far, hon. Huh? <laughs> I think we'll just uh, take a ride down the road. At least, at least Kate and Tracy all live in the same country. So, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, what can I say? <laughs> but, you know, it's a bit more realistic in doing our way than, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I, I sort of, we got the address. It's, it's like sort of next village over. And they were advertising on Facebook and it says, Oh, you get a 30% discount on your first visit. And I keep sending it to Chris. You know, keep sending him <laughs> links, sort of, you know, in this sort of thing. So I says to him, I says, well, it, I says, it can't be bad. I says, you know, 30% off. You know what I mean? You can't grumble at 30%. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm just, and don't forget a lovely facial. We're going to, it, we've got a spa at college. So uh, we're going for. Oh, young ladies, we get any mini bus straight to spa. <laughs> oh, my lady's coming. <laughs> my lady's, driving, my, my my ladies, we've got it all planned out. My lady's driving mini bus. There's me, Tracy, Kate, hey. maybe Bella. You don't know. So we're all get <laughs> we're all getting in the money mini bus and. So we, we, it's 15 minutes is nearly up. This is about, well, it, it, it still feels a bit hot underneath, but I, it's sort of cool enough that I can lift it up. But as I said before, it it's feels a bit hot. But you can't sort it's not of really have left it. It's going back in the oven anyway. It's going to melt anyway. So Well, this is it. So, um, but I've, I've done what recipe says and like, no. like cool down yeah. for 15 minutes. Um so we sort of done things by the book and let it cool down for 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, um, I thought you said last 15 minutes. <laughs> you'll hear it going off in a minute. I thought, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it by the book this week. I'm going to... Tracy, what jam are you using? Well, I'm using... Um, strawberry. strawberry. I'm using the I've raspberry. So, yeah. I'm, I'm in jam. I've got white marshmallows. Yeah, well, I the only ones that Chris could get me were the pink and white ones, anyway. So, um, 
white ones. I'm going to get pink and white. I'd have to pick through the bag to get all the pink and white ones. And just a red card. Can you put chocolate drops inside it as with white marshmallows? Uh, I don't really know. Um, but the thing is, the thing is, you put the marshmallows on top of your jam, and the whole point of putting it back in the oven is to melt the marshmallows. So you're going if you add chocolate drops to it, you're going to have a like a chocolatey gooey mess, aren't you? If you get oh, any meaning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Johnny says he's done his 200 sit up so he's earned a taste. So, yeah, so now I'm just going to put my camera down and we'll get on with putting the jam bit on it. Right. But it's sort of semi healthy, Johnny. It's. Um, <laughs> You know, you see certain certain recipes have like you know carbs and everything that's uh, it, it's got in it, but with this one, I don't think it did. So I'm just waiting for that to uh, right. So I'm just gonna put that down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Just waiting for the camera. Well, I followed the recipe and I did the rat that got the raspberry jam. <laughs> Sounded kind of good. Uh, uh, yeah. I have got raspberry jam in, but can you Oh, yeah. I'm just going to put that on there. Mine is strawberry. It's our place. <laughs> it is a good meat strawberry jam. Yeah. Mine's a uh, bit of pink. Mm -hmm. I mean, when when all said and done, you don't want your jam all that thickly. Um, um, if if you if you understand what I'm saying, you only want like a thin layer of it. Get spooning last. Easy days. Dash. Bad, bad dog. Bad dog. One, one, of the, one of these cooking live streams where I don't have Kate on or easy. According to, um, you're not. <laughs> oh dear. He says you're not plastering. <laughs> Obviously, you don't know baking, then, Johnny. It's got to be right. Not a thin it, we'll straighten it out. Yeah. You don't want sort of more jam on one end than you're having on other. Right, so that's I about, just oh, to measure it out. Well, next step, she's pouring her marshmallows on. Ooh. So, yeah, so I'm just going to, oops, put it outside it. Here we go. Pardon me. Some of my marshmallows are stuck together. It looks pretty with the marshmallow. Oh, I don't care, blood. 
I know when I can see Jay needs more charm. <laughs> <laughs> I bet Chris is going to like this. I bet. He's probably still craving those uh, apple turnovers, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still love needing them. <laughs> I have a little secret behind that. They're so easy to make. Buy ready made pastry. Uh. Is that my anniversary dessert? No. <laughs> uh, Kevin says, is it my anniversary dessert? And I went, no. I want me some round edges. Kevin's trying to get his uh, um, baking uh, uh, thing. He said, just <laughs> chuck all <laughs> Yeah. So I just, just, I just opened a bag, Kevin. That would be an awful lot. It'd go over the top of the pan. I want to give them room to melt. <laughs> right. Drop the whole pack in there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, There you go. That's mine. Here we go. Kevin says, yum. <laughs> How long than I've been alive. Ooh. So it's like a, a shortbread biscuit base, Kevin, mixed with coconut and some marshmallows. Then it's bake, layer of jam, and obviously another layer of marshmallows. So, so it's these need going back in. It's just for further between ten and twelve minutes. Oh, so right. we'll, we'll we'll go for twelve minutes. Um. So yeah, so these need going back in oven now. <coughs> We're going back in oven. <coughs> Looking good, ladies. Looking good. Yeah. Give me, give me. So when you do it, you're back. Some marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is. Are you ready? Yeah. They've got to melt now. Um, that's a lot of marshmallows. But the thing is, they've gone back in oven now, so the marshmallows melt. So, uh, yeah, hence, hence the reason why they've gone back in oven. So, and I've, I've, I've actually still got some marshmallows oh, left. That's easy. I can't. See you later, Kevin. Come on, swap over. I think this is on a go slow tonight. Yes. What? What? See you, Kevin. I'll be better. I know you are. Uh, uh oh, we lost Jeanette again. No, she'll come back probably. No. I'm just going to make a sticky while it's in the oven. Mm. 
Back. She's back. Nope, she's not. <laughs> she was back. Yeah. I am <laughs> back. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh dear. We can't get through one stream now. One of us having some problems. Well, that's all a part of the game, I guess. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of problems too, but mostly it was my own fault, you know. But learn a little every day, so that's a good thing. The the, the thing is, Johnny, what it is, I, I, I'm. I start by using the laptop camera, but I've also got an external camera. Right. Uh, I use the external. So my, my laptop camera is broke. Uh, rather than sort of, you know, keep messing about with my laptop and facing it down, I swap over to the lap uh, to the external thing to do the, you know, mm. where it's looking down. Kath says, uh, don't forget to make me a cake. <laughs> so so I think, and I'll tell you another problem that I have as well, Laurie, is, you know, if I have somebody on panel and they leave, it, it goes all awry then. I don't know why it is. I don't know whether it's my laptop that don't like it or the camera that I'm using don't like it. But it always huh. seems to go a bit funny when... A guest leaves off the panel. Oh my goodness! Huh. So it's um, <clears throat> I needed either a bigger laptop because this is basically only like a small laptop. So um, I need a bigger laptop with a bigger memory or something yeah. to that effect. Yeah. Well, my birthday is coming up in September. My husband's birthday is in September. Sorry, I didn't hear that. What? <laughs> I said, sorry, I didn't hear that. 22nd mine is. Uh, his is the 8th. So, yeah, you know, I'm just making a hint so you can start saving up. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> I I couldn't believe it when my camera died on my um, laptop because I've only had it li a little over a year when it quit. So I went and I got one of those Logitech cameras, which I love. It's a good camera. It's really nice. So, but I was really and you know, the thing was with my laptop camera, I was I had I, it'll work in black and white, but it won't give me any color. No color. So oh. I was like, I, I can't have that. So I just went and got one to sit on top of the yeah. laptop. And it was nice. His birthday is the 23rd of August. Aha. Uh -huh. oh. I'm Jad. My nephew's going to be born on your birthday. Uh. Oh. Was that a pre-planned C-section then, Tracy? Well, that's the due date they give early, 23rd of August. But because she's had two previous premature babies, she might have it a bit early or she could just go full no. time. You're going to keep an eye on her when she, um, you know, when she gets to near to a, a, a due date. Yeah, to a due date, yeah. Yeah, because she's had like two um, premature babies before, you see. But they'll give it 21st, 23rd of August. Uh, <laughs> I'm just as old birthday twins. Oh, I'm just as old I'm just then. I'll bring some pop for you. I'm well, it, it, it's Chris's big birthday this year because he's 50 in November. And I, it's my big birthday next year because I'll be the sixth next year. So, sort of, his big birthday this year and mine next year. 
Mine's real big Hello. this year in November. Real big. I'm going to be 62. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's a big one. <laughs> but yeah, it's. Uh, you um, said you're what? Couple, you're 56, did you say, Jeanette? I'm, I'm 50, 59 this September, but oh, next 59. September I'll be 60. Yeah. Okay. 59. Yeah, Chris is nine years and two months younger than me. Uh, Kelly notes on 19th of August. So, so what? What's special about nineteenth of August, Kathleen? Tell us. Ooh, definitely a party. I'm Judge is twenty one. Judge, I'll drink twenty one beers for you, mate. Key to the door. <laughs> but you see, it was Callum's eighteenth last year, and we were going to have this big party and everything, and then pandemic. Put pay to that, so we couldn't have them. Just you know, I made him a cake, and so we thought, well, we being Chris's fiftieth this year. If things go to plan, we're going to have like a joint birthday, a belated eighteenth for him, and Chris's fifteenth, fiftieth, fiftieth. Party live stream on Jeanette's channel. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, it's, before it's, long, we'll hear Biscuit barking on here. Yeah. <laughs> he's down there, Chris. He's fast asleep. <laughs> but that, that today, first time I'd ever heard him bark. Oh, oh, oh. And we've had him like nearly a month. And that was. Uncle's birthday, she said. Oh, Uncle's birthday, yeah. But, it, you know, it's. <laughs> I made Callum his uh, birthday cake. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> never, never again. Oh, I did a full A cake. I'll have to send you a picture oh. of it, Laurie. Oh um, no, too much, too much hassle. I'd sooner go out and buy one. Right, you know, it, while it looked nice and it tasted lovely. It were it were a headache from beginning to end. <laughs> I bet it was. You know, I covered it in like uh, chocolate buttercream, and then I put all the like his favourite chocolate. Uh, it got button white. I'll have to send you a picture, Laurie. I, yes, <laughs> I can't imagine. Oh my gosh! I remember putting it up. Yeah. Yeah. It were it were right. Nightmare, nightmare, absolute <laughs> nightmare. I know I wouldn't attempt and it. I'll, I'll send this to you, Laurie. And okay. I made him some um, chocolate uh, cupcake muffins, whatever, what you call them. But yeah, I'm sending it to you now. Um, okay. But yeah, nightmare, absolute nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you got to make a cake. Yeah, you can make your own and all. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so pretty, though! Wow. And this is this yeah, is like a, a top. Top. this. It, it's got Maltesers, flakes, and like minstrels. I, 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 Chris took one like from from above. I'll just send you that one. Wow! Okay. And this is the one that you made that you just sent me the picture of. Yeah, that's what I made yes. Callum for his 18th birthday. That is awesome. Wow. That's a nice cake. But it it, it, it were a nightmare, honestly, Laurie. Oh, I believe you. I know I wouldn't attempt it. Wow. That's yeah. a lot of eating. <laughs> but yeah. Round one. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's when, something else. After I've done it, I says, uh, never again, never again. Like we're probably normal on the birthday. <laughs> is, that, that is that like white chocolate that you put around the outside of it? That is oh. like white buttons. You know, like they were, 
bigger than normal <laughs> buttons. You, okay, they were large, yeah. white buttons. Yeah. Wow, you put a lot of work into that. It's I sure cool. hope you appreciated it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, it was an absolute nightmare. Oh, I bet. It was an absolute nightmare. That's it. I says to, I says to Chris, I says, that's, you see, when I did, I did Chris one, because he was obviously 49 last year, I just mm -hmm. did him a simple tray paint one and decorated it, and I thought, well, that's enough. I'm not... <laughs> Wow. That was easy enough to do, and it was like a a, a vanilla sponge tray bake uh, with like um, a buttercream icing, and I just thrown a lot of decorations on it. That were that were enough, baby. That's done. That done yeah. Oh, God. yeah. I'm gonna check on my marshmallows here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can't believe it. Almost starting to brown a little bit, but I know they're supposed to be a little darker than that. Another minute or two. Yeah, that's a pretty cake. You did a nice job on it. Oh, for me, biscuit, you ain't having none, boy. Uh, oh, this <laughs> is this is the wow, three up women. <laughs> I think that they <laughs> should be melted more than that. i put it back in. If I, this is this is the one that I did for Chris. I'll send you a picture of the one. Okay. And, and you can see what I mean by just a simple tray bake. I thought I'm not having that lava again. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Steve. Oh, that's pretty that too. One. That's the one that I did for Chris's. Uh, what would you yeah. say about three minutes? Two, three minutes. Yeah, yeah that's um, nice. But that that were uh, <coughs> yeah, got enough I, candles I, I, I on there. <clears throat> <laughs> so that okay, Laurie. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. That would that would just I weren't having that palaver again. So I says to him, I'm just gonna make you a simple tray bait one. It was just a simple yeah. sponge, you put a cream ice in and just decorated it. Yep, yeah, yeah. Black paranormal really did a birthday count down live stream for me the night before my birthday last year. Yeah. When it came yeah. to midnight my birthday, I cried. She did a panel, everyone started singing. But that's <laughs> it, you know what I mean? It's, it's it's nice when you know, um, you know, people do things like that for you. Um yeah. we were just disappointed. Obviously, under the circumstances, we wanted Callum to have this big party, you know, a DJ and lots of dancing and everything. Hiya, Mark. How are you? Hello, Mark. <coughs> but it weren't to be, you know. But, you know, if if sort of managed to get, you know, um, things moving in the right direction, we're going to um, have one for Christmas because it's his 50th. No, not have what pull over, get a bloody cardigan. What? <laughs> oh, wakey. Oh, wakey. <laughs> Talks in middle, it does wakey. <laughs> That's wakey. Oh, wakey. But yeah, we're going to combine the two, and it's like going to be hopefully, touch wood, a belated 18th for Callum and a 50th for Chris. But they're yeah. both in November anyway, but. Chris, Callum's is eighth and Chris is at twenty second. So, uh, but same as we said, better late than never. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, but I'm not baking another him another cake. Uh, and Imran's enjoying the live stream. We'll have to get Mr. IP up one of these days. Um, but yeah, you know, they can have a joint birthday cake as well. I'd sort of I'd sort of pay somebody to make one then have to go through all that again. Absolute mm -hmm. nightmare, honestly. 
Oh, you better check mine. No, it's not diet. Why? What's it for wakey? Could you make a cake for me? Yeah, if you don't want no too fancy, Mark, I can do your tray bake. Um, but yeah, I'll send you. I've just sent Laura pictures of the one that I made for Callum. It will like her. Oh, that looks nice, Laurie. Yeah, it came out pretty good. Ta da! Mmm. Uh, <laughs> mm. TMI, uh, Wakey. TMI. Yeah, pretty good but yeah i mean if you don't want anything too fancy mark like the simple tray bait that i made for chris yeah by all means but when i did callum's it was his 18th but oh yeah that's i think that's it yeah oh it's a bit hot smells pretty good that's too funny. Not quite melted, melted on, but when you think about it, it carries on cooking after it's come out. A 10 foot tall cake, when no. <laughs> oh, this looks nice as well. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Um, a little bit brown, but it's melted. Yeah, well, Tracy's used white marshmallows. So, um, yeah, so hers got a little darker. Some of my marshmallows have gone a little, a little brown, but. Um, but yeah, it's only the top part. I put loads of marshmallows on, so I can always take them the yeah. off. But hold yeah, yours up, hold yours up, Jeanette, so we can see. Put it? Hold yours up so we can see. Hold yours up so we can see it. And don't burn yourself. Oh, yeah, looks good. Looks good. Yummy, yummy. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> and, and and that's how sim simple it was to make and that is um i mean really you could take it um as a party um you know to a party you can have it as dessert you know anything really yeah kids would oh, probably love that probably can cut it then did it say? Yeah, we've got we've got to let it cool down, Tracy. A lot. I mean, obviously, well, I you, can't, my you, glass. Can't the, you can't take it out of thing until it's fully cooled down, and then once it is cooled down, you can slice it, slice it, and dice it. I ain't gone. I'm just trying to um, sort this camera out. Yeah, mine's gonna take a long time to cool because I used a glass pan. I I use this pan for everything. I love this pan, even though I gotta wait longer for things to cool down. But I've had this thing for years. <laughs> uh, Kathleen, uh, I'm still here. By the way. Uh, yes, I remember when Mary Berry uh, came in. Yeah. Yeah, if I can figure out how to get it off the table without. There we go. <laughs> it's a, still saying it weren't him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the, you can't get any simpler than that. It's just like a shortbread biscuit base with coconut in it. And you've got a layer of jam and then marshmallows on top. So basically, yeah, it, really does, it really does look tasty. Yeah. And we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're in a quandary because Chris wants Toblerone cookies next week, but I thought like a hot chocolate. Toblerone. <laughs> it's only because Toblerone's his favorite chocolate. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Tracy says, I'll save you a slice, Kath. <laughs> I hope you know in this oh, house, yeah, every man for himself. Every man and his dog for himself. Yeah. <coughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, um, so, I'll. Uh, yeah. I'll let you know either way. You, you know, me and Chris will have to thr thrash it out between. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
between herself. Either way, it's going to be some sort of cookie. It's either going to be Toblerone cookies or it's going to be uh, the hot chocolate ones. Hot chocolate ones. So, um, different. Uh, Laura's christened a, a hob. So she's popped. Pop yep. cherry, so to speak. Yep. Uh, uh, Yo! Sorry. This is really going to uh, come in handy if I keep coming on here baking with you, Jeanette. De definitely. I, I bought my original one from, we've got a place called Argos. Nah, it's a lot bigger than the one i've used tonight it's similar to yours exactly same as yours in fact except mine yeah. is white and yours is black yeah this but was i got this on amazon it was 13 dollars and something plus the shipping so it came to 21 dollars, which really yeah. wasn't bad i thought it would be more yeah i think i think the one that i bought from uh, the store we call argos i think that were about 20 pound uh yeah. but i find that um, if you need to move it, you've got to let it cool down because it does yeah, get very hot. It really didn't take too long. It took like 20 minutes for it to cool but, down. But the thing is, uh, uh, Amjad's just said, what channel is the Jeanette and Pixie show going to be on on Saturday? There might not be one Saturday because England's playing Amjad. And that's why Chris <laughs> is watching you playing in Sweden. Because Forget it, it Amjad. You have to come to my life. <laughs> but, <laughs> so there might not be one this this week. Um, you know what, though? I don't know if I'm going to do one this week either because that's 4th of July weekend. So I may, I might not do a live this week either. I'm not sure yet. I have to decide. Uh, so anyway, the, the one that I have actually used tonight, Laurie, I saw it on Facebook Marketplace and... Um, we could actually do it Friday evening, couldn't we, baby? What? The Jeanette and Pixie show. We could actually do it Friday evening. Yeah, we could do. Yeah. Whose channel is it on? Sure, because we missed last this Saturday, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, good enough, yeah. So, yeah, so so look out for it, Amjad, because we I've just been talking to Chris. We may do it Friday evening instead. Um, just a 50 quid to switch it around. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the one that I've used tonight was actually off Amazon Marketplace. And were, it was were £5. So I don't yeah, know I what that is in dollars. You told me that last week. I remember you said you got it from a lady that didn't use it. Yeah, it was £5. Yeah, well, it's not going to be from an elderly lady that had no use for it and i didn't mind paying a fiver because it, it it you know it's got the handles on yeah it's a bit smaller than the, than the other one but it does the same job yeah yeah i kind of wish there was so, handles on mine but i never thought of that when i bought it i just wanted to get one i never knew they came with handles so uh, you said you have handles so, yeah. on here the, the the little one does, but the big one yeah. don't. And this yeah. is what I'm saying is, you, you've either got to use oven gloves or yeah, you know, you've got to wait till it cools down. Right, that's what I did. I waited and then I I put it back in the plastic but bag. It, it, both have got the pros and cons. The light one has got a lot longer lead on it. Now the one I've yeah. used tonight's only got a little diddy lead. Yeah, I had to plug mine into so, a. Okay with an, an extension cord because they are very short yeah well i, I have but we're only being like a little tiny lead yeah you know, i've had to put things about a lot whereas it would have been ideal in the big one because it's got a lot longer lead on it right yeah got ukraine oh was ukraine one yeah <laughs> <laughs> for your information England will be playing Ukraine on Saturday because that's why he's watching the football because there was Sweden and Ukraine playing each other and the winner of that match is playing England on Saturday. So when he wanted Ukraine to win. So, right guys, I know we've still got 11 in but everything's finished now. We've, um, we've, 
we've cooked as a uh, slice so i'll have to let you ladies know for definite what we're making next week i suppose if we make the cho hot chocolate cookies next week we could always sort of appease to make the toblerone cookies the week after no <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, so thank you for Laurie uh, joining me. <laughs> thank, thank you for having me. Lacey, joining well, me. You've done a great job, ladies. Uh, you know, as I always say, you know, it, it, it humbles me heart that you two ladies want to join me on a baking live stream. I'm just doing what I love to do, and that's yeah. baking. Me too. And I'm learning new recipes. I mean, I've never made this stuff yeah. before. And it, it sort of, <laughs> It got to, you know, it warms me heart that I've inspired Tracy to be inspired Laura to be, you know what I mean? And that's the whole point of my channel is, you know, it's not just a woman thing. Men bake, you know, anybody mm -hmm. can do it. Yeah. As long as you, you yeah, know, yeah, follow yeah. the rest. Right. So, thank you. Yeah, see you later, yeah, guys. And thank see you guys. Later. Good night. Bye. I'm See just you gonna soon, play me after. Is it playing? Traces is new to the Still here. Hmm.